I was going to include this guide in my last video, but it didn't quite make it. It's for setting the angle on a mitre gauge. It's very accurate, it's fast to use, and it only takes 10 minutes to make. I thought it was still worth showing, so I've made this quick video to show you how to do it. You need a piece of three quarter inch plywood. I'm using form ply, but any flat plywood will be fine. It needs to be cross cut square, and that needs to be precise. The idea of the guide is to be able to set the mitre gauge quickly, but also accurately and reliably. I'm using my crosscut sled for that because I know that will be square. The first dados are 50 millimeters or two inches away from the sides, but I'll put a link to a PDF with all the dimensions in the description. I put a clamp on the far end of the fence so there's no chance of it moving when making the cut. The router bit is set six millimeters or quarter of an inch above the tabletop. Whatever dados I've cut on one side, I need to flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side. Now I'll make one in the center, that's for the 90 degree setting, but it doesn't need to be exact. Next I turn it 90 degrees and make another dado in the opposite direction. It'd be a good idea to make a test first before you go cutting all those dados, but we want a nice fit. We don't want any sideways wobble. We don't want it to be sloppy, and that's perfect. And to use the jig, you actually put the uh, jig on top of the mitre gauge bar. You slide it up to the fence and lock that in. And now we know that's set at 90 degrees. It's quick and it's accurate. Next, we'll cut off a couple of the corners at different angles, and that will allow us to make another three commonly used angles. To use the guide, you just choose whichever dado you need. I'll go for 60 degrees. So we'll put that on the bar, slide it up to the fence and lock it in and that's set. It's that easy. If you need to set the angle the opposite way, then you flip the guide over and do the same thing that way. The guide does need checking for accuracy. I'm checking the 60 degree angle first by cutting six pieces. I cut all the angles on one side, then flip them over and cut the angle on the opposite side. Make the pieces a bit longer than I have here if you're concerned about getting too close to the blade. I was very surprised about that. They came out just about perfect. I did expect to do some adjustments and that's probably something you'll have to do but it's easy enough, I'll show you how to do it. It might take a bit of trial and error to get it just right, but if you put all your pieces together and hold them with a rubber band or tape or a band clamp, if one of the joints is open at the point, then the mitre gauge needs moving around this way to make more of an acute angle. And that means the guide needs a little bit taken off this end here. So you could do that with a hand plane, you could sand it, but I would do it with the table saw. I would set it against the blade and then this end here, I'd move ever so slightly away, just a hairline gap, and then I'd set the fence up to that, and then make that cut, and you should be able to take a little bit off that end, and then redo the whole test and try it again. And like I say, it's trial and error, but you'll get there. And if the joint's open on the inside, then you need to do the opposite and take a little bit off this end here. If you made sure you cut the piece square in the first place, and you've adjusted the 60 degree angle accurately, that means the 30 degree angle must be accurate too. And lastly, check the 45 degree angle, and that's it. Now you can set these angles accurately from now on in just a few seconds. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and it was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.